Hello. Hi, Jenny. Hi, how are you? Um, fine. Good. How about you? Very good. Very good. It's still very hot here, but it's it's nice. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's good today. Yeah. Too. Is the weather mm -hmm. is okay there? Mm, yes, it's uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, twenty eight. Oh, it's not too bad. Maybe. Yeah. I think now, let me yeah. see. The weather here is... Let's see. You should tell me. Uh, oh, so it's uh, 35, 36 here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> For me, I, I'd rather have the cold <laughs> than the hot. I don't like hot weather. I'm very... Yeah. 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 Do you like hot weather or cold weather? Which do you prefer? Mm. Neither. <laughs> Neither? Oh, like spring, yeah. no? Like spring or fall where it's like a, um, mild weather, right? Not hot, not cold. M maybe, maybe hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for no, me... No, not, not, not that hot. Yeah, for me, I'd rather have the, well, I like mild weather where it's not hot, not cold, like during spring or fall, but uh, but if I had to choose an extreme, I would choose cold weather, because it's easier to put on a jacket than it is to try to cool down, right, in, in hot weather. Here, you go outside and you feel like dizzy, you know, um, like when you feel like your head is spinning. Um, so, it's because it's way too hot, it's it's really hot. So yeah, yeah, I prefer it to be cold, but it's only for three months, so it's okay. So, <laughs> what would you like to talk about today? Um, maybe I I only have two classes left. You only have two classes left. Mhm. Mm Today's class and. Uh, uh, in 27. Okay. Okay. Uh, because you're taking vacation or because the class is over? Class is over. Oh, okay. Okay. And so is there anything you want to talk about specifically? Did we cover anything? Is there anything that you want to talk about so that we can, we can make sure that we, we talk about it? Anything in particular? So, so you you said uh, you you taught you teach culture culture. Yeah. So I teach. Uh, well, I taught in the past. I taught anthropology. So I have a background in anthropology, which is culture exactly. Yeah. Mm, mm, uh, no. uh, I, uh, uh, maybe I want to know something about religion. Religion, okay, sure. So, what, uh, what in particular do you want to talk about for religion? Mm, I, I don't know it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, um, we can talk about religion from an anthropological point of view or perspective. Um, in anthropology, we are really interested in religion because it usually is a way for people to define or structure their lives, right? So uh, for anthropology, we focus on uh, religion as a function of culture, that it's a part of culture. And we look at different, uh, different religions to understand how people relate to their culture. So for example, if we talk about Catholicism, so being Catholic, how uh, Catholicism is used in the in the society to control or to define or structure the lives of the individuals. Um, so, the for example, the most uh, the most controversial, I think, at this at this moment, and the the most um, I think the most uh, obvious case right now is the idea of um, of homosexuality. Uh, within the church, right? So, uh, within the church, so homosexuality 
uh, the Pope. So, you know the Pope, right? In the, in the Vatican? No, no, no. No, I don't know Pope. So the Pope is no, the yeah. is the guy with the, the really long hat. Let me see if I can find a, a picture of him. So he's, uh, he's the one that is um, the, the head of the church, more or less. Like he's the, the boss of the church. And he is um, responsible for the message that the church wants to give. So if the Pope says that, um, that homosexuality is okay, then that is the message of the church, right? Um, so let me see if I can find a picture for you. He's a really obvious person because he wears uh, this white, white robe, like a dress, and then a white hat that is very, um, that's very obvious too. So let's see this picture here. So this is the Pope. Have you seen him before? No. No? So he's pretty famous with um, in Catholicism. So he lives in the Vatican, which is in Italy. And the Pope is the, like I said, he's the leader of the, of the Catholic Church. So he is, uh, he's like the public figure, like the image of the church. And right now there's a huge controversy over homosexuality not just within the church, but also the, the message, if they agree or disagree with homosexuality. And um, this Pope in particular, he is more flexible about homosexuality than other Popes in the past. So there's a big controversy over that. A lot of people who follow the church, a lot of Catholics, they do not agree with what he's doing right now. So that's a controversy. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's Catholicism, um, and I guess the next religion that would be the most obvious is uh, Judaism. So Jewish Judaism, and then if you are if you follow Judaism, then you are Jewish, right? So that's someone from Israel, for example. Um, it doesn't have to be Jewish, but they Wait, maybe there is something wrong. Something wrong with the uh, internet. There's something wrong with the internet? The connection? Yes, yeah, can you hear me? Can I can. Hear me? I can hear you. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's perfect. But can you hear me? Okay. Uh. No, not that clear. Okay. Do you want me to try to call you back? No, no you. Okay. Okay. Call, call, I'll try and call you call back. Me back. Okay. Okay, so let's see if this is better. Okay, better. better. Better? Okay, perfect. Okay, so we were talking about Jewish. Do you, do you know anything about the Jewish religion? Jewish? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. So Jewish, uh, mm -hmm. the, the Jewish religion is like, uh, for example, rabbis are Jewish. Um, rabbis are like the leaders of the Jewish religion. So I'll show you mm -hmm. a picture. So Jewish, oh, this is I an example uh, here. I can show you. I know, I know. I, know? I, 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 I have ever heard about Jewish. Okay. So what do you know um, about Jewish people? They are they, very intelligent, right? Well, that is a, one of the stereotypes, yeah. That they're very intelligent, yeah. Um, that the, the religion, more or less, um, is uh, involved with Israel. So Israel is the, um, like the homeland the homeland for Jewish people and um, there are a lot of Jewish people in um, in America a lot of Jewish people in America and there are a lot of Catholic people in America too so uh, I think those are the the two major religions um, that are in the United States is Judaism and Catholicism and of course there's others Muslim um, uh, you, you, you said uh, uh, East 
Brazil is a major, major religion in America. Jewish. Mm -hmm. So being Jewish, so uh, either Judaism or Catholicism is uh, the most mm -hmm. common. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, a lot of the, the people who say that they're religious that live in the United States are either Jewish or Catholic, right? But of course you have other religions too. Being, you can be Buddhist or Muslim, um, Christian, which is uh, very similar to Catholic, but Christian is more um, involved in other, other types of uh, religions regarding Jesus. So like Baptist or um, Lutheran, um, what else is there? There's um, uh, Pentecostal, which I'm not sure how to spell. Pentecostal. Wait, I have to look that up to see what the, how to spell that. But these are different types of Christianity. So it's more or less, uh, si they're similar. Of course, they're different, but they, um, they have the uh, same ideas about, uh, about Jesus. So Jesus is involved in each of those religions. So it's Pentecostal. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. So um, in, in all cases, I think religion serves the purpose of being able to give people a sense of purpose, a sense of direction, understanding life a little bit more, right? So, and also um, a way to be able to manage and understand the problems that they might have. So for example, a lot of people will say that it is in God's hands. This is a very common phrase to use. If you're religious, you might say, you, if you're having a problem with your health or something with your family, you might say it's in God's hands, meaning that you are not, um, going to worry about it because uh, God will more or less take care of it for you because you you have trust and faith in the religion mm. so yeah what, what, what religion do you believe I don't I believe in any religion I'm, I'm I guess I would be considered an atheist um, so I don't believe in um, in any religion um, but I, I'm interested in religion. I think it's very interesting and I like to study it. So um, because of anthropology, I, I like to look at different cultures and understand religion, but I don't follow a religion myself, no. Yeah. In China, how is it? How is, how is religion looked or perceived in China? Mm, uh, I maybe oh uh, I think um no um, I think many people don't uh, believe in religion. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that is? Uh, uh, uh good Buddhism. So, have you ever? Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Buddhism. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that practice in China? Um, um I I don't think uh I think uh, many Chinese don't believe in and religion. Mm -hmm. well, why do you think that is? Yeah, do you think that there is a reason or or there's no reason for it? I don't know, but mm. for myself, I don't believe in any re religion. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's interesting. I think that um, in the United States, the reason why there are so many different religions, of course, is because of the immigration. But also, I think there is a history in the United States of having um, this almost um, long relationship with uh, religion and the government. So as as much as the government and the re and religion are separated, um, we still in the United States have a very long relationship with religion. In fact, the first people that came to the United States that were considered 
pilgrims or Americans uh, were looking for a place to be able to practice their religion freely. So in, the, um, in England, they were being persecuted for their religion and they came to, to find um, a place to live where they can practice freely. So even from the beginning, there is this relationship with religion that the U.S. has. And I think that's different from other countries. So it's interesting because there are religions for everything in the United States. Um, we have religions for, um, for, for very small um, villages or towns in the south or big, big institutions like Catholicism or Judaism that are practiced throughout the country. So it's, it's a, more or less it's a very important um, concept or idea for a lot of Americans. Yeah, religion's pretty important. And also I think religion sometimes can uh, make people choose politically what they, um, what they will vote, who they will vote for or what they will vote on. So for example, like uh, Catholicism, um, does not believe they don't believe in abortion, right? Um, so, so abortion is when you are um, when you actually are pregnant, but you you stop the pregnancy, and um, you purposely stop the pregnancy. So, in Catholicism, they believe that this is uh, a sin, that this is wrong, and uh, there's a lot of controversy in the U.S. about this, if you if abortion should be legal or not. So e even the political, this is just an example, but even the political themes or subjects are related to uh, religion. Yeah. Is this different from China or is you, that the you, same? You, you, said, um, ma you, you said many Amer Americans believe uh, religion? Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of Americans believe in religion, yeah. Yeah, I think it would probably be more more people what, believe what what what, what religion to, to, uh, is um, most popular? Catholic and Jewish then Jewish. So being Catholic or being Jewish is the most popular. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. And Jewish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are the most popular. Uh, I think after that it would be Christian. So Christian in general, including being Catholic is very popular. Um, any religion that believes in Jesus, more or less, right, is um, a very popular religion in, in the, the United States. And then, of course, Ju Judaism is the next, um, is the next, I'm not sure if, the, if it's the next most popular or if it's as popular, but it's the, the two biggest religions are Judaism and Catholicism, yeah. Yeah. Why, why don't you believe uh, in religion? I'm not sure, that's a good question. I think that my, um, my upbringing, my, my childhood, uh, has a lot to do with that. So when I was younger, my mother was Catholic and my father was Jewish. So we practiced both and I was mm, more or less uh, able to choose what I wanted to practice and because I had those options I I started to become interested in other religions and I really couldn't choose one religion that I said was the right or true religion so for me it was more interesting to study religion than it was to to follow a religion I, I like studying religion better and I think that's because of my my childhood, yeah. Because if my parents were both Catholic, then maybe I would go to church and that's it. But because I had the choice, I was interested in looking at other religions too. Uh, so that made me more interested in studying religion than finding one religion that I could focus on, yeah. Yeah. But a lot of people around me, uh, a lot of friends, a lot of family, uh, are very are religious. They are religious in the United States. Um, a lot of Baptists, a lot of um, Catholic. Uh, yeah, these are are people who are very 
devout. So devout is someone who is very loyal to a particular cause or belief. So they're very devout in their religion. Um, so, yeah. What, what do they do to believe uh, religion? What do they do? I think most of daily it... Life? Yeah, it's daily life is just to follow the religion rules or their guidelines but then I think also especially in the United States the major action that is uh, a way of showing that you're religious is going to church so they go to church every Sunday and it's a very um, it can be a very uh, a very public way of showing how religious you are so if you go to church everyone sees that you go to church and um, and uh, it's it's a it's that kind of public display of how religious you are. So, um, so a lot of people go every day. Sometimes they go every Sunday. Or um, in my case, in my family, we only went like for Christmas or for Easter. So uh, some families do that. Some families will just go for the holidays. Um, but regardless, it's considered religious to do that yeah yeah but that's a good question I'm not sure yeah I think that's the reason why why do you think you're not religious mm -hmm. why why do you think you're not religious so what's the reasons why why, why do I mm -hmm. why, why why don't I believe in religion mm -hmm. I don't know. I I don't know religion much. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the, uh, the rules of religion. Uh, mm, I just uh, uh, believe in uh, technology. Okay. So science, technology. Yeah. It's pretty much the same as me. That's what I believe in too. I believe in technology and science, in um, logic. Um, yeah, these are things mm -hmm. that are, I guess, what I believe in. But uh, I'm also very fascinated with religion because I think it's very interesting how people can be so religious and feel so safe and secure when they are practicing religion. I think it's very interesting. Um, there's a, a phenomenon mm -hmm. in the US of some, if, for example, if someone is a criminal and they are on death row, which is the, the name of the place uh, when you're waiting to be punished by death, and a lot of people on death row will, will find religion. They will become religious because they know they're going to die soon. And I think that's really fascinating. To me, it's an interesting, it's an interesting um, phenomenon. It's an interesting development. Um, so I like to. Do you find find it a reason? Do I do I find it? Sorry, say it again. Do Do you find the answer of uh, why do people uh, believe in mm. religion so much? I'm not sure. Uh, I think that uh, it depends on the person, but for, for example, sometimes I think religion is used as um, a public way to show your allegiance or your faith in something, um, how good you are or how moral you are, right? Um, sometimes it's heritage, so sometimes people will be Catholic because their parents were Catholic, so it was just... Um, how they were raised or how they the parents taught them to be and um, sometimes I think people go through things in their life that are really difficult really hard and they are looking for some reason or something to help them so sometimes religion is uh, is used as like a way to help you through a problem right so it depends on the person but I think that all of these are reasons for why religion is so popular um, for why there is that um, that relationship, right? Um, but it's fascinating. I think it's really interesting, especially when you have uh, these religions that have a long history, right? That these are 
are really, really old religions. Catholic, Juda Judaism, they're very old. So it's interesting to see how we use these religions now, right? They've been around for centuries, and, and how, we do, how do we practice these religions now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think that... Do, uh, mm -hmm. Well, I was just going to ask, do you think that a scientist could be religious as well? So do you think that's possible? Or do you think that science and religion are totally opposite? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't... I, I, I don't know, but uh, I just uh, believe in science. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in my daily life, um, I I don't want to follow the rules of religion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I just uh, believe in uh, uh, nature, and um, and you said logic. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I I. I I don't I don't know religion mm -hmm. much, uh, and uh, I don't want to follow the rules of religion. I think mm, yeah. So I I don't know how to say, but I prefer to believe in science mm -hmm. more. Yeah. So I don't follow religion. Yeah, I I'm pretty much the same. Yeah, I agree. I think that um, that science is more. Um, it, it's more objective that there is no uh, usually uh, of course sub science can be subjective as well but I think it's more objective um, because it's based on facts it's based on testing on experiments things that you can see things that you can feel um, so for me it's more facts based than than religion of course religious people would say that there's a lot that science cannot answer, which is true. Um, a lot of the things that we we see or we feel in the world cannot be explained just by science. But I think we are using science to understand the world, right? That this is a process. Mm -hmm. That we don't understand everything, of course. But, uh, but through time, we will learn more and more about how life is... Um, is expressed how it works, right? Yeah. What, what, what's your answer about uh, you using religion and uh, uh, science are uh, opposite? I, that's a, yeah, so that's a good question. I think that both serve a purpose, and I think that they both work um, within our societies to help us understand the world. Um, so both are necessary. Um, that being said, I think that sometimes it's difficult for for people to reconcile um, the differences between science and religion sometimes. So, for example, evolution is a major concept in science, um, but, but Christianity um, does not believe in evolution, right? And most, most Catholics or most Christians would say that, it's, that evolution is, is, not, is not true. So sometimes I think it's difficult uh, for people to try to create that bridge between the two, the two ideas. But yeah, it's possible. I think it's possible to find um, a balance between the two. But yeah, I think it's very difficult. And and I th but I do think that both are necessary. Both are used to explain how the world works and how it's how um, or why the world is the way it is, right? Sometimes um, people have a big problem with, like, for example, death, trying to explain death to someone. And science can explain how we die, but not why we die. And, and I think religion will explain why, right? They won't explain how, but they explain why. So it's almost like complementary in a way. Yeah. It's interesting. I really like uh, thinking about this because it's very interesting to think of how society uses religion in, a, in its own way and in different cultures. Every culture uses religion in a different way. Yeah. So we can stop there for today and we can continue. Sorry?
uh, uh, next class? Yeah, we can continue next class. So the next class is on the 27th? Yes. Okay. I'll check to make sure and I'll let, um, I'll let Wartango know. Okay? Alright, so then I'll talk to you then, okay? Okay. okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.